Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming the Dapples and Bays tag. Um, I actually filmed a different tag before this, but I've been having problems with the quality of videos and what I used to edit my videos has, you know, been kind of killing the quality of my videos and it wasn't allowing me to upload. So I have decided to actually buy video, a video editor and hoping that it's going to help the quality of my videos. So I guess we will see after I upload this and how it goes, but this is my first video with this new editor, so have mercy on me. But I will make sure to put all the questions to this tag in the description below so you guys can do it yourself. So um, I'd love to learn more about you and I really hope you want to learn about me. So please comment below and tell me if you did this tag yourself or if you're planning on doing it so I can keep an eye out for that video and watch it to learn more about you. Um, so without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first question in this tag is, what is your favorite color of horse and what is your horse's color? So my favorite color on a horse is gray, anything gray, dapple gray is being my favorite, or very light bays. Um, and then my horse is a, he's actually, he's, he's registered a sorrel, but he has kind of a little roan thing going on. So he could be, you could call, call him a red roan or a sorrel, but on his registration papers, he is considered sorrel. The next question is, what is your favorite breed of horse and what is your horse's breed? I really like Westphalians and Oldenburgs and um, Hol I like Holsteiners too, but my horse's breed is a paint. He is an APHA registered paint horse. And then I do ride a horse that is a thoroughbred. So the next question in this tag is, um, sorry, the questions are over here, is what is your favorite tax store? Um, my favorite tax store used to be a really awesome consignment tax store that was near me, but it recently joined with a different company and I have not been back to their new location. So I have no clue what it's like now, but one tax store for me that always has it all and I never have to doubt about having the right thing for me and my horse is Dover. Um, Dover's well known, everybody likes Dover. Um, there is a Dover, in Cal two Dovers in California now. One of them is an hour and a half away from me. So I was fortunate enough to go and be able to pick out some stuff for my birthday. But um, Dover always has what you need. It no fail has the same, you know, the same inventory and you can always go there and be 100% sure you are going to find just what you need. So now I'd probably say my favorite tax store is Dover. Um, next question is the favorite, what is your favorite thing to do with your horse? Personally, um, my paint buddy, we don't really do the same discipline anymore. He, I, he was an ex-reigning horse that I also showed in Western Pleasure. Um, so my favorite thing to do with him is, Rosie, <laughs> my favorite thing to do with him is um, just, you know, have fun. He's getting older and I love him to death, but <laughs> since we aren't doing the same thing anymore, um, we're just kind of, you know, we're just kind of chilling and doing stuff we both enjoy. So recently I've been doing a lot of like bareback riding and just kind of messing around and having fun. So I really love to do that with Buddy, but um, when I'm actually jumping, my favorite thing to do are, um, bounces and one strides. I just really like the back-to-back -back jumps and it's just really fun and the horse that I ride is a beast going through grids so it's really fun to ride her through the grids but I love doing bounces and one strides when I'm jumping. This question says what are your riding goals? Um, personally within these next two years before I leave to college because I am a junior this year um, I do plan on owning a horse for myself before I go to college. I definitely want to continue riding through college and through the rest of my life. And um, who knows, maybe I'll end up with an equine related career. I kind of know what path I'm going in. And I'm not quite sure if it involves horses at this point, but I would love if it would. Um, but I definitely do want to ride through college. So my riding goals, um, by the end of the two years I have left in high school with my parents is that I would like to purchase my own horse that I'll be able to take with me to college and just kind of start showing, get more, get in the show ring more. You know, I really do miss showing. I haven't shown in a long time, so it would be really amazing to get back in the show ring. But those are probably my writing goals for the next few years. So we have reached the last question in this tag, which is what is your biggest writing accomplishment? Personally, my biggest writing accomplishment is when I made the decision to switch disciplines um, and get a job as a working student at my barn. 
Um, when I first decided I wanted to get into doing jumping, I was kind of on my own. Um, my family has always been into western riding. They do rain cow horses and I started out doing western pleasure and I still showed western pleasure up to about a year and a half ago, two years ago. So I really had to take my own initiative to go do what I wanted to do. So I decided to take my job as a working student at the barn that I am still at. I am no longer a working student there but um, I do ride there still. I love the people and I love my trainer and I'm so thankful she allowed me to have this opportunity. But um, it really showed me who I was as a person and not only did it teach me like responsibility, but I really learned and saw that I could be very motivated to do what I wanted to do and it gave me a whole new outlook on having dreams and getting them done because it showed me that with hard work, what you want to achieve is very possible. So it was a confidence booster for me really. And I think that's definitely my biggest writing accomplishment because it just taught me so much and I'm so thankful for the opportunity and my life wouldn't really be the same without it. So that was the Dapples and Bays tag. Like I said earlier, I'm going to leave all the questions to this tag in the description below. Feel free to do this. I tag everybody watching this video to do this tag. Um, let me know if you guys do the tag so I can check that video out. But thank you guys so much for watching this tag. Um, one thing though before I do leave is that I'm going to want to do a Q&A soon. So if you guys have any questions for me, horse or non-horse related, please comment them below. I'm going to be putting up a video asking for those questions and posting something on my social medias, which I will have in the description as always. But um, I'm trying to collect some questions for a Q&A that will either be the next video or the video after that because I am trying to get a you know, good amount of questions to answer for you guys. So please let me know if you have any questions. I'll read your question and your username in the Q&A video. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't yet, but comment any other video requests below as well, and I will see you guys in my next video.